Well, I'm Eric Richards. And I'm Kristen Mathiri. And we're getting married. Kristen and I both have worked at a, a major healthcare company. Yes. Uh, me for 18 years, her for about 12. I thought he was just a pretty face. You know, there wasn't, I didn't think a whole lot of substance there, but. All kinds of substance. <laughs> he was the guy um, <laughs> that was always flirty and he would still just come by like, you look amazing, you're so beautiful. And he always came back to those eyes. You know, he would look at me and say those eyes. Oh my gosh. We were both married. Neither one of us really knew that we were in toxic relationships. And we were in relationships where we kept thinking if we just hang out one more day, just try one more week, maybe things will change around. I think everyone can experience something like that or know someone who says, let me stick it out for the kids. Let me wait until you know Dorothy goes off to college or, or whatever that might yes. be. Yes. Um, and sometimes you find yourself at the end, and for me, was a 14-year failed marriage where, frankly, I was self-medicating, I was uh, living life to fill a void that I really wasn't sure where that was coming from. But all I knew is that I had to fill something in order for me to be happy. And all those decisions I made were all completely ungodly and, and not of His will and His plan for my life. When I sat in my own house and came up with this thought that I cannot do this one more day. I fell to my knees and I just said, Lord, I've tried it my way for 42 years. Let me try it your way. I had been through my own valley uh, personally in my marriage at that time and I wasn't doing right. Um, and God took a quick swift hand um, to my heart and I fell to my knees and changed my life then in 2011. I remember hearing a sermon about this man and his daughter had um, been bitten by a spider and they're on a road trip in Texas and the daughter's leg is swollen and the, the grandma of all things says, oh, we need to go to the hospital and we need to lance that. So they go to the hospital room and the father talks about holding his three-year-old child down so that they could suck the poison out of the child's leg. And I remember realizing that that's what my father, my heavenly father was doing to me, was holding me down while he removed the poison from my life. You know, I've, I've said it before that you were the first man that ever openly prayed over me, you know, and that was within the first you know, 24 hours. And the sad fact of that is the 14 year marriage that I had, I can't recall ever really doing that or taking the initiative to lead my family as a Christ loving father and husband. And I knew that's why it failed. I never, it wasn't built around that. It wasn't focused on what was meant to be. We share with people all the time that you have nothing if you aren't equally yoked. You know, we both try to do unyoked marriages and it just doesn't work. There's there's too much spiritual warfare out there to not be on the same spiritual page. Yeah. And so, you know, we reconnected in April and it was April 25th is when I started writing love letters to you. And some of the words I wrote was, you know, I know he brought us together for a reason. I have great peace in that. I'm so excited to learn you and see our friendship grow. I want nothing more than to honor God, to have a partner that wants to grow and learn every day more about our King. You were the first man to pray over me, E, which is not something small in my book. It's a huge, giant boulder in our foundation. If we build it in Him, He will honor us. We know that you're probably just like us. You know, you've probably been to a spot that is your lowest low, your rock bottom. You've had the divorce, you've lost a child, you've had a broken relationship, um, you've had an altar in your family dynamic. Whatever it may be, we get it. We've been there. And we know that if you trust in the Lord and put your faith in Him, have total surrender, there's a round two. You can get up, you can fight again. You can look to Him and find your answers in the gospel and through Jesus Christ. And I guarantee you that if you trust in Him, He will bless your socks off, as my mom would say. We have the opportunity to show you that there is happiness after divorce. There is life after a loss. And so we would like to introduce to you a possibility of a new ministry 
that we're trying to build called Round 2. Keep an eye on us and, and watch us as we further down the path that God has already set out for us. And we hope that we can help you find your Round 2.